and what is up? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Here we are in Heaven Sword, episode 15. Hope everybody's doing very well. We're going to go ahead and talk to Moghan here and get the trials underway. Mm, again, still nothing I can use. Yay. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I am Moghan, the foremost alchemist in Mogholm, if you must know. If your tummy is gloopy or your wings are droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Or I would, I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do my chore. Or, trial. Yes. Go forth, mighty adventure, and mighty pluck these springs of Claw's Breath for me. You'll find it blooming near the entrance to El Tom. It's not the safest place, so don't let yourself be too distracted by the pretty flowers, Kupo. Oh, we can do all three at once. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god, finally something I can use. Oh, big time upgrade. Oh wait, that's a Gilmore. Oh, there we go. Mechanic's arm. Alright, got a new weapon. That's nice. Or Archer's arm. Who? Mechanics? Or should I get it for my... Eh. Playing the mechanic class, so I'll just get that. Hm, yes, you have the pleasure of speaking with Mombog. I know, I know. I am the fluffiest, most enchanting creature you have ever laid eyes upon, Kupo. It isn't easy being adorable. I can barely take stroll outside without those relentless Gravarians throwing themselves at me. Why, they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case, fleeing their overbearing adulate adultion is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam, is this. Find these amnet anchor, what the hell, archerosaurs? And slap some manners into them, Kupo. Perhaps a firm smack on the snout will teach them to appro appreciate my charm from afar. Okay. And Mogwin. Logman's the name and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mogholm who can match my talent with a brush, Kubo. I know why you've come. Chieftain Moglin has demanded that I test your trustworthiness. But as I trust no one to create art that will satisfy me, I instead charge you with retrieving a masterpiece I seem to have misplaced. It was an ambitious and innovative work, guaranteed to fetch at least four or five at least four Kupo nuts on the open market. You must find it question the masses. Surely a pebble painted with such a vibrant color on unmistake Ponche cannot have escaped the notice of every Mughal in Mogholm. Logwin is missing his masterpiece, Kupo? Oh, you mean that painted smear mess of the pebble? I have not seen it recently. In fact, for my eye, which my eyes are proud of Profoundly, profoundly grateful. Master Mogwin has displaced his masterpiece, Kupo. Oh, happy day. If I am the swifter in finding it, I will soon have a genuine Mogwin for the price of a little perspiration. Honestly, who has four Kupo nuts just lying about to spend on such luxuries? Hmm, I don't know much about his stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back of someone else's summer from time to time. Kupo, maybe he left it up there. Well, maybe he did. Hmm, what did you find out, Kupo? Ah, yes, yes, now that you mention it, I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. Ahem, the second part of your trial commences. Go, adventure, and receive my masterpiece before some art-starved admirer swipes the stone from himself. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. I just remember how to get the hell out of here. Mm. 
Maybe I should just go ahead and teleport. <laughs> Probably be easier. Well, it's still pointing up. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll go take care of these ones first since they're over there. This one is... Oh boy. Oh boy. That's done. Cloud's breath, one out of three. All right, let's check up here. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything up here. On the rock. Okay, so we can roll that area out. Check. I already got the one that was right there. Doesn't look like there's anything around right there, so we can roll that side out. So it's got to be somewhere. The other two have got to be over here somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's two out of three. Guess I'm probably gonna be up top over here. Somewhere. There it is. hell do I get up there? Oh, bugger off. Unless it's inside and I need to climb up. Because I don't see how I'm going to be able to get up there. I mean, that goes around to the other... There's no way across from right there. So, hmm. Yeah, it, it's got to be inside then somewhere. It's got to be up top inside. Alright, you got to go up and around or something. 
Oh, there we go. That's right. I remember. There's a pathway that leads up. I remember now. Except I am way... Okay, I'm at the top of the summit, so it's gotta be over right here. get up here. It should be up right here. Ha! I did it! Your stupid pebble. Where's your damn... Where's your freaking pebble at? There it is. Pray I don't have to ever go back up there ever again. Alright, we'll go here first to Mudwin. Do you have a coupon? Is my masterpiece safe? Yes, this is my work. It's not exquisite. I call it Contemptions of Zenith. Thank you, madam. At last I can exchange my art for those de delectable coupon nuts. Chieftain Mudwin will hear this valorous deed. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a scholar. Eh. Yay, I can now accept the next class job. Which, moving forward, I'm just going to be doing all of that off camera. Only going to record the main story. You're able to humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful, you are as capable as I am cap as I am captivating, Kupo. Still, my pre my precious perfection does not excuse those louts from pursuing me so mercifully. Their tongues lolling and bellies rumbling. The Dravanians, their ick, have much to learn about acceptable acts of admiration. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure they're just hungry and want to eat you. Ahead and equip you. All right, now for the final one. Did you have any trouble finding Cloud's Breath, Koopo? Oh my God, I'm saying Koopo without them even saying Koopo. I'm turning into a Moogle. I do need it quite urgently, you know. Yes, there you go. Oh yes, these are perfect, Koopo. Now I have the main ingredient for my palm tonic. Speaking of which, how are you feeling, miss? Should you ever feel your palm losing its bounds, then I suggest your Moogle... Then I'm your Moogle, Koopo. Ugh. 105... Yeah, I'll just take the one in. All sells them. You have completed trials of trust her. Return to Chieftain Mooglin and away his judgment. Well, I hope I did good. Kiari, if that is what you insist on calling yourself, you have completed the trials of trustworthiness administrated by the Taskmasters Moghan, Mogmog, and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observe your conduct as well as that of your companions. And I am decided, Kupo. Gather your friends before me now, so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. Well, looks like we unlocked the daily. That's another thing I gotta start doing. Are these trials over then? My tasks have been little more than household chores. 
toward towards God chores. If our whole select not grant their aid after working us like pack chocobals, I shall demand compensation and coupon nuts out of principle. But I hope it will not come to that. Let us hear the chief's sentence verdict, shall we? Sitting here in Monkholm, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of Good King Mubamog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Like most, I thought it no more than a myth, a story for younglings that grew with the feeling, that grew with the telling. But with every passing moment, I become more certain that we are discovering the origin of the tale. Full eager I am to hear what chief, the chieftain has to say. Come on, Estinian. How go your trials, Warrior Blight? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not their chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the Dravarians? Such contradictions aside, our hosts seemed entranced by the height of my leap. They compared me to they compared me to Mog, a lance wielding a lance wielding Mughal warrior of Eld who has favored such attacks. So it's meant as a compliment, I expect, but I doubt these furry lumps could overleap a crocola limb, much less a dragon, or much less a dragoon. Consider your business here swiftly, Kiara. I like not this place. Who well, else do we have to talk to? Oh, Koopa Cop in the cell. We become such friends, Koopa. My Mughal cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I had better flutter over there and see him then. Alright. What sorcery is this? That my heart should stir at a mere fluffiness. Kara, I, I was... No, no matter. What, what is it? Chieftain Moglin has made his decision. Well, let us not keep him waiting then. Ah. Yeah, why you gotta be sitting up there on your high horse? Never have I seen such determined workers, Kupo. It would have taken us moons to complete all those dairy, dreary chores and niggling errands. <laughs> and have our labors proven the purity of our intentions, Chieftain? Without a doubt. In fact, there was never really all that much doubt to begin with. You were, after all, already friends with the fellow Mughal. But you see, before any meeting with Raz Velger could take place, haha, I sort of said it right, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time by having you perform all the tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do, Koopo? Ugh. Oh, oh dear. The, the horn! Bring out the horn! Quickly now! We blow this wondrous instrument whenever we need to speak with the great whim, Koopo. We, uh, we haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late, and I think Moghan may have sat on it. So we needed some time for cleaning and polishing and straightening. No lasting harm done, though. Now you need to simply head to Zenith. The wind's drilling to the west, and give the horn a good toot. We are in your debt, Chieftain. Thanks to your noble gift, we shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Razvelger. Very possibly, yes, but I wouldn't get my helps up too high, Kupo. 
the old worm isn't terribly fond of um your concern is appreciated but i'm quite certain that res velger will welcome our overtures should we arrive at his lair come we have squandered enough time already Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gra gracious hospitality. Though we must soon take our leave, I pray that we may continue to nurture the, sh the shoots of this new sprung friendship. Twist earth and sky. Of course, of course, Kupo. Bid us, visit us whenever you wish. Consider Mogholm your home amongst the clouds. Thanks for your help, Koopo. I doubt I've ever have found a time for all those rotten chores. H hey, it wasn't my idea if the chieftain had spent a little less time sitting about and a little more time chieftaining. Things would never have gotten so messy in the first place. And he was the one who sat on the horn, by the way. But now all the errands are done and the horn is fixed, so all's well that ends well, eh, Koopo? Sure. Well, uh, I expect you to eager to be on your way. Did I mention your friend was looking for you, Kupo? If not, Alphanod was is looking for you. I'll be waiting outside, stretching my wings. Let me know when you're ready to depart. To the best of my knowledge, we have all that we need for our trip to Zenith, and I believe that Elder Cecir and her retinue will soon be making the journey back to Grandania. It would be remiss of us, I think, not to convey our gratitude to them prior to going our separate ways, shall we? Alphanant Kira, I do humbly thank you for what has been the most enlightening experience. Were it not for your pioneering spirit, the existence of these Mughals might never have been revealed to us. Tis we who should be thankful, Elder Seedseer. Were it not for your timely diplomacy, they would have never have chosen to reveal themselves at all. And twas your presence, Kuplokov, that ultimately won us their trust. They must have taken great courage to leave the sanctuary of the Twelveswood, and we are extremely glad that you did. It was my pleasure, Kupo. I made so many new friends and have so many fantastic tales to tell my kingsmen back home. Or king's moogles. <laughs> and it is our home that we must now return. May you walk forever in the light of the crystal, my friends. Safe journey, Elder Seatseer. We too must be on your way. Rest Velger awaits. Warrior of Light, pray attend closely to your companion, Sir Astinian. Beneath that stoical facade, a storm of anguish sees unseen. Okay. How come I can never find my way out of here? Ugh, it's too damn dark in here. I can't see anything.
Okay. Like I just can't. It's just it's just too dark in here. It's just too damn dark. Have you said your goodbyes and dabbed away your tears, Kupo? Then we are indeed ready to go. Alright, well, everybody, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Please be sure to follow me on X, hit me up on Discord, and check out Facebook. Links and usernames are all in the description below. With that being said, everyone, I will see you on the next one.